What's up, lads and lasses? Welcome to the game and Liquid Wolf here, and welcome to Let Dice Top 10 Weapons List. Number 10. Alright, let's just get straight into this. Number 10 is the only long range weapon we actually have in the Top 10 list because there's that many like rifles and shotguns and snipers and all that that I figured they deserve a list of their own. So, this list will be primarily melee weapons, but except from this one weapon because I think about making a top 5 for the long range weapons. But this weapon is the nail gun. Uh, it does some decent damage. As you can see there, this is like floor 1 and it's like getting them like 2 hits. So, yeah, it does some decent damage and that's like at the start of it before it even gets leveled up. But when you start to like level up and learn its skills a bit more, it does more damage as every other weapon does. And the only downside I would say to it would be that it's L1 or R1, it's like kind of strong attack, isn't strong. It's the it's a melee part of it, and it's just weak. It doesn't really do much damage. I mean, I don't see the point in it, but yeah, it's weak. What would have been better is if you know they done it so that it would be a strong hit, and then after it hits, they shoot it shoots the nail. Then it would be cool. It would do a bit more damage, but it doesn't. So yeah, that's what lets this weapon down. That's kind of why it's not gonna be in the top ten, the top five long range weapons <laughs> list. <laughs> but yeah, it is a good weapon, and it's Gortastic is kind of cool. It's not the best, but it's kind of cool. Just show you now. And number nine, we have the Metal Bat. Now, there is a reason why the bat's on the like ninth of this weapons list because it's okay, but its third attack in the combo is slow. So yeah, it does some decent damage, but it's not a very good trade. The slow wind up for that third attack opens you up really, really much, really much. If that makes sense, but yeah, it opens you up quite a bit. It's rage attack does some decent damage and it can stun them for a little bit, but once they're unstunned, they're gonna hit you. But yeah, that's the baseball bat. That's why it's on night. Number eight. From number eight, we have the buzzsaw. Now, the buzzsaw is alright, but it's just alright could be better. Now what I'm saying by that is the damage it's okay it's not the best it's it's just okay. I mean yeah it stun locks the opponent unless it's like a boss and then you can build up some great damage but without the stun lock I don't think it would be that good a whip. So the stun lock is what is put it on this list and a lot of people seem to like it in the communities that I've been in in the forums and all that so yeah that's what's on this list but yeah it's got no bad damage when it comes to the stun lock and it's rage attack shoots out three of the blades and when they hit the opponent they keep the opponent stun locked and they cause damage at the same time so while they're stun locked you could like grab a machete or heck you even grab a bat like the battle axe and just whack them with that just hit them and try and kill them and yeah, that would be a good little strategy. But the downside of the buzzsaw is that it's wind up when it comes to its attacks. While it's, you know, winding up to actually hit the enemy, they can just as easily dodge it or hit you. So yeah, luckily this game isn't PvP yet, but if it ever does become PvP, PvP, what the fuck, <laughs> PvP, then I think this weapon won't get used that much, but as it is right now, it's not bad. Just not bad. Number 7. And for 7 we have the Iron Hammer. Now this is actually a nice weapon. It 
it's highly liked in the communities and forums that I've looked online. And yeah, I can see why. It's a decent weapon. Its combo is quite fast, the wind up's not that bad, and the wind up for the strong attack, which is like the L1. It's not the best. It's still punishable, but it's not as punishable as the buzzsaw or the baseball bat. So yeah, it's worth it. It's a good trade. And it's got some decent damage on it. And its rage attack is quite nice as well. You just happen to sin really, but yeah, it's not bad. Number six. And for number six we have the spear. Why not? It's a good weapon. It's got good range. Damage is quite nice. Its rage attack is a straight up lunging stab where you don't jump, you just put your handle a little bit lower to the actual handle of the spear and it's got really nice damage. It's a good weapon. Number five. And for number five we have the Balax. Now Balax it's got some slow attacks in it, it's mainly just it's R2 that's slow, but it's L2 is quite fast, and it's, it's L1 and R1, they're quite fast as well, but look at the damage, it killed like Cohen in like two shots. Enough said, it's a good weapon. <laughs> Number four. And for four, we have the butterfly knife. Now, Butterfly Knife has got some good damage on it, it's really close so the range isn't good, but its damage is quite good and it's really fast, it's a really fast weapon. Its strong attack is a kind of lunging attack, so you stab and jump backwards. So yeah, you get yourself some distance after the attack, and it's a good weapon in general. Best thing to do with this is to equip it into your like your left hand or your right hand, and on the other hand you have like a machete or sword. Something with decent range. That way you've kinda covered the range. And its rage attack is just a matter of it just continuously stabs the enemy. So yeah. Good win. Number four, butterfly knife. Number three. For number three we have the claws. Now claws, like the butterfly knife, not got a good range, but it really really well makes up for that because its damage is great it actually does poison damage as well and it's a really fast weapon its strong attack is kind of like a it's kind of like a lunging not a strong attack it's rage move it's, it's a jumping attack where he jumps and grabs you and starts slicing at your face and yeah it's a good weapon one thing I would say with this same as the butterfly knife, equip a longer ranged melee weapon on the other hand, that way you've gotten rid of the fact that you've lost that range from that weapon. That way you've got a really good strategy, and this weapon was very well praised in the communities. Number 2 For number 2 we have the longsword, now this was a struggle to put this between number 2 and number 1, but I put it in number 2 for these reasons, and that is the attacks in it, they're not as fast as the other weapon that I've put in number one. But it's got some good damage and it is a good weapon. Do not take that away from it. It is a really good weapon. Number one. But for number one, we have the machete. And the reason why the machete is in this list at number one is because of how fucking fast its moves are and the damage it does. It's got the range, it's fast, it's got the damage, and it's just a great weapon in general. But anyway guys, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, why not subscribe? If you want to see more lists like this, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know if there was any weapons I missed in the comment section as well. And remember, I tear through those limits.